Priya from Mom's Pump here, and we are live with our weekly chat. So I'm just waiting for a super suit to log on so I can invite her in. Um, today, uh, you like my shirt? <laughs> Green Lantern. <laughs> uh, today we have actually a serious topic. Um, it's We're going to be talking about medical marijuana and moms who smoke ma medical marijuana and the effects it has on the pregnancies and um, afterwards with moms who choose to breastfeed um, or breast pump and uh, nurse their baby while smoking. So I'm just waiting for Super Sue to jump on so I can invite her in. Hopefully she will. Um, but it's a very serious topic. It's um, We're actually basing it on um, a new video that just came out from Viceland. And I don't know if any of you are aware of Viceland. Viceland is a, um, they're not really a news organization. They do a lot of documentaries. And they followed a mom. Her name was Kimberly. And Kimberly was, um, uh, you know, using marijuana because she had really bad uh, morning sickness. And she wanted to make sure that um, she wasn't sick. It was really bad. Like she was throwing up all the time and she was afraid to go to her doctor. And Sue and I thought it was a great topic to talk about. We've never really talked about, you know, moms who smoke marijuana and the effects that it has on them, their children, their families, and, um, you know, what happens afterwards. Do the babies come out okay? Oh, there she is. Okay. No longer. I really like said so much. <laughs> okay. I'm inviting Super Sue. I'm inviting the podcast. I love this new technology. Ah! Hi. <laughs> How That's you doing? A... You sit outside. I know it is so it's so nice out. I should have sat outside. I kinda of I like know. <laughs> it's it's, go it's gorgeous out. Look, it's like, you know, the sun's out, you know. It's not turning yet. What? Tree is not even turning yet. It's like fall. It's not even turning. No, no, no. It's one of no. It's that's that's like a different type of tree. It just stays green. Oh. Uh, and then dies. I like yeah. her. Hat. That's it. How cute your hat is. Oh, thank you. I know. Oh. I was trying to be basic today. You what? know, white girl basic. <laughs> I <I'm> say <laughs> white girl basic. You're yeah. uh, so I was actually I talking about our topic before you popped on, and I was telling mom. Yeah, I know. First, I I was on, but I couldn't hear you, and then I logged off again, and I finally got. I heard you. Oh, you couldn't hear me the first yeah. time. No, I, I couldn't why. hear you the first. Yeah. Oh, well, I have the camera like set up on a tripod, like it's right there. <laughs> uh. So maybe that's the reason. I'll talk loud. Uh, yeah. So I was telling the moms. Uh, the, about the topic that we're, we're going to be talking about today for hashtag the pink life. Yeah. And about the, did you get a chance to watch the video? I watched the video this morning again. And uh -huh. I, you know, my first impression, like when you see the title, you're like, what the hell is the matter with these moms? Yeah. Doing something like that. But yeah. then like the, um, the guy that was doing the interview, I forgot his name. I'm so sorry. Um, I think his, it was Christian. The, okay. Yeah. Um, his, the main mom that he was, you know, I guess like documenting Kimberly, mm -hmm. like when you start hearing her story, then you're just like, you're absolutely heartbroken. Cause then you're like, oh, like now I can almost, you know, as a human being, as a mother, I can almost understand, you know, why they made that decision. And it wasn't mm -hmm. like a decision that she made her, herself. It was something that her and her husband, you know, discussed together. Yeah, yeah, and, and then she, okay, so let's back up a little bit. Yeah. I actually, if I could share it on our timeline. Let me see if it pops up. Okay, so I'm going to share it. I can see ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> so moms know what we're talking about. Okay. From, and I had, there it is. Let me open it up. Okay, so let me copy it. And I'll put it in the comment section so moms can see it. Is it inappropriate if I keep liking? Huh? Is it inappropriate if I keep liking? 
No, go okay. ahead. Oh, wait, uh, it didn't pop up properly. So I'm trying to share it right now. Okay. It's really nice out today. I want to say it's like, it's like gorgeous. I'm so glad I went walking. Okay. So I'm going to share it in the comments. So moms could check it out. So it's about, it's called weed etiquette and it's to back up a little bit again. So a mom, her name was Kimberly and she, she's the, the center of this documentary that was created by Viceland. And mm -hmm. it's about moms who have to smoke medical mar marijuana during the pregnancies. And it's not like these moms are junkies. So you have to watch the video. These yeah. moms are not. No, uh, what she's, junkies. yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's interesting because what she suffers from, um, the, the short term, they call it HD. Um, I know I'm saying this wrong. It's like hyper, uh, hyper is a gravum or something like that. I, I know I'm saying it wrong, but yeah. to put it in, you know, if people are familiar with um, Kate Middleton, she suffered from it. It's just mm -hmm. the, like, it's just morning, it considered morning sickness, but it was during all three trimesters, like morning, noon, and night, all day. That's yeah. pretty much what she suffered from. And it was just, you know, it, it was to the point where this poor mom wasn't able to eat, wasn't able to do anything. And, you know, it was just, oh, hi, Sam. Uh, it was, <laughs> but it was just, you know, and you felt bad for her because she just like, she wasn't able to just, you know, do anything. And her smoking pot helped alleviate the, no the nausea. And it was able, you know, it was able she was able to eat and just be able to do things around you know just be able to live her you know be functioning and being able to take care of her child you know and take care of her pregnancy mm -hmm. yeah so it was it, it really like debilitated her she was yeah so they actually showed it in the last portion of the video where she was constantly getting up to throw up yeah because she was um, i think a month before her due date she was trying to to you know not take the marijuana because she knew she would get tested in the hospital and yeah. then you know and she knew that that if it, she came back positive or the baby came back positive cpf would, would have been involved um and i want to say like this wasn't something i don't think her doctor prescribed for her no it no. wasn't so it, she she actually was prescribed a different type of medication and from her I first should, pregnancy from the first pregnancy yeah and uh, there was something in that medication that did something to her son. Yes, it, it, he it um, caused him to be in like the cardiac ICU uh, because he didn't have an aorta or aorta yeah. or he didn't have something. Um, he didn't have aorta. It, it, yeah, the the um, the medication that her, her doctor prescribed during her first pregnancy made her um, cause a birth defect from mm -hmm. her first son. Um, yeah, and found out it was that it, they linked it back to that medicine after they they were hearing more moms taking it and realizing yeah, and, that. Yes. Yeah. And I don't yeah, know. So, did, we, did we say that she suffered also from HD during her first pregnancy as well, and that's why yeah. the doctor put her on the medication. So, yeah, so and she was, wasn't, and she said she was, you know, maybe it was her fault that she didn't do the research, or she, or just, you know. Or she just kind of put it, you know, thinking that their doctor was prescribing her something that was, you know, going safe to be, the, you know, going to be safe. And unfortunately, it wasn't. And thank God, you know, in the end, he was fine. But I think her and her husband thought that, you know, smoking, no, you know. They had to do surgery on him, right? They had, like, emergency heart surgery on the baby. Yes. Well, yeah. I'm, but, but I'm saying at this point now that, he, you know, he's doing, you know, so much better. Yeah, oh, definitely, yeah. definitely. So that so she started smoking marijuana because she didn't know of any other. What else could she take? What other alternative? Medication? Yeah, yeah, that she felt safe with, and I, she did some research and she saw the other moms that were experiencing the same thing. Yeah, that uh, they were taking marijuana while they were pregnant. Um, now marijuana, in, in I think there's 16 states that consider marijuana to be. Um, uh, there's a term they used in the video where it was it was not just illegal, but it was cause for a mom to lose her child. Yeah, um, like, like like social services, the state will come and take away your your 
not only that child, but any other children that you have. Yeah, which was yeah. this. So yeah. you guys have this video. So she, yeah. at the end of the video, it's, it's, that's where you feel like really heartbroken for her because at the end, she's like, she's so, she's so nervous about CPS coming into the hospital room. They, obviously, they, the doctor found out while she was pregnant because the doctor tested, I guess, her urine or whatever. And because she was smoking for so long, the marijuana wasn't able to flush through her system. And of yeah. course, it's in her hair and every yeah. cell in her because she was smoking it so long. And then she told the doctor and the doctor tested her. She came out positive. And then she felt like the doctor was accusing her and treating her like she was a junkie. Yeah. And she was getting, you know, during her pregnancy when she was getting her tests. Yeah. And that's what really like scared her because she's heard horror stories of babies being taken away. And, 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 I, and I believe they shoot a, showed a group of moms that were talking about it also, you know, yeah. their experience. Yeah, yes. I, I wasn't too familiar about what medical conditions those other moms had because they didn't really, I don't think, disclosed it in the video as to why they smoked marijuana during their pregnancy. Um, but from my understanding, the, the interviewer did say that they had some sort of medical condition where they needed to smoke it. Yeah. 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 So and they, I know, and I know one of them actually did get their child taken away. Yeah. There was a girl with the short hair. Yeah. Yeah. The baby was taken away. Um, and then she couldn't nurse the baby. She couldn't spend time. She didn't have yeah. skin, skin contact yeah. or anything. And it was just a long drawn out process where she had to see psychologists and it was just a ton of yeah. things. But Kimberly herself, when she, um, so she stopped smoking a month before the baby was born, um, hoping that it would be out of her. She knew that it was going to be out of her system, but she was hoping yeah. <laughs> that it would be an issue once the baby was born. Because once the baby was born, right away, they tested his stool to see if that, that compound, uh, I pulled it up. Let me see. It's called um, THC. It's called tetrahydrocannabinol. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Tetra, tetrahydrocannabinol, and um, they they were testing for the THC in the baby stool, and then of course in the mom's urine, and it came out positive. Yeah. So she like freaked out. She thought you know it was going to be a big thing, but the hospital, and well CPS came in and they talked to her, and this, the woman from CPS assured her that it, it, it nothing was really going to come of it. I guess because it's happening more often. Yeah. Where women having to resort to, to marijuana for medical reasons. Yeah. Uh, help with the sicknesses and things like that. And then she, um, she got a, a visit to her home after she came home with the baby. And the woman saw that they were li living in good living conditions. They had a yeah. good relationship with the husband and the wife. The, yeah. The child was safe. Yeah. And it came of it where they took away the baby. Yeah. Which was a huge relief for her. And she yeah. was crying and but stuff. She, but she, you know, she was making a point. She was like, I'm not smoking you know, cannabis, she goes to get high. She was like, I'm doing it to treat her, you know, her HD. And, yeah. uh, and after the baby was born, I'm assuming she stopped smoking. And that's why it made CPS not, you know, pursue any, any action against her. Yeah, that's really scary. I can't imagine how that feels. I mean, you do have women who, who are really drug addicts, and they are taking heroin and really you know what's this house out there? bad drugs <laughs> <laughs> i don't know Meth, whatever they're taking yeah. all these things they're pregnant Crack. and then um something really tragically happens with the baby and the baby has a deformity or it come has serious issues when they when it's born and then they have their children taken away um and then they the homes that they're coming out of um they're not conducive for they're not they're homes of drug addicts, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> but then you have women who are taking marijuana because they have no other resource that's that's helping them. Yeah. And it's that's only I, thing. what you know. What the point is, like you know, you're the doctor's going to prescribe me some sort of pill, you mm -hmm. know, that can cause a birth de defect, and yet there hasn't been enough study done on what about uh, medical marijuana, on you know on HG or any other, you know, you know, any problems like that. And to see, you know, is there going to be any, you know, long-term um, effects on the, you know, the baby. Yeah. Wow. It's, it, they need to do some studies. Yeah. They need to do 
especially with everything going on with the cannabis cannabis industry. Yeah. And I have to give a shout out to, so I, you know, I host a radio show every Friday. Uh, there's another show on the radio station that talks all about cannabis. Um, it's called In the No 420 with Joe and Jacob, shout out. Uh, but they, they talk about this all the time and how, you know, medical, medical marijuana, if it's used improperly, um, they can have some serious issues, but a lot of people need it. They need it for, you know, if they have cancer, they're going through chemo, um, they have other conditions. You, you've heard of people who have, um, what's that condition where they shake multiple sclerosis and they're smoking marijuana just to deal with the, with the Parkinson's, the, huh? Parkinson's, Parkinson's. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Parkinson's. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Wait, wait, for the shake. Yeah. yeah Parkinson's. And they have to smoke it just to deal with, um, the, you know, the, the side effects of their illnesses. Yeah. Um, so the same thing would go for women, you know, yeah. and, and it's horrible that these moms are seen as, I think personally, it's horrible that they're seen as drug addicts. Yeah. Because they can't function. They, from the condition, HD, they cannot function. They're throwing, she was throwing up blood. <laughs> Can I you know. imagine? That Going, is, yeah. Is, uh, That's insane. Um, so I'm so glad it worked out for her in the end. And then the baby was, was, um, was fine. She was a, she was six pounds, 17 ounces. She was yeah. beautiful, functioning properly. And uh, the CPS woman, when she came over, realized that everything was okay. And thank God for that. You know, yeah. thank God everything worked out for her. But I I'm would, sure that I would love to see like a follow up interview like a year from now to see like, you know, is she, you know, is she hitting her mi milestones? Is there any developmental delays or cognitive mm -hmm. uh, delays? Um, you know, I would love to, to know, you know, to see, like, you know, was there, you know, is she hitting, is she progressing? That's a really good point. Yeah. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to reach out to Viceland. I don't know if they'll respond, but I'm going to reach out to them and say we did this live Facebook and to find out if there's going to be a follow-up because it'd be a great thing to share with our moms because I'm yeah. sure, you know. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying cajoning, like, you know, oh, it's okay. You know, this mm -hmm. is something that it's a decision that, you know. It's you a very personal decision, you know, it's, it's not personal. Yeah. yeah. Every, but every I, person is different. So, and you make a good point because you don't know what's going to happen long term. If the yeah. baby's going to have, you know, a hard time walking, if yeah. speech is delayed, if there's any cognitive delays pretty yeah. much as the baby's growing. Um, and oh, if that, if that that's out. because of the marijuana, because I, yeah, the, I can't say we're going for a walk because my dog got out. What? <laughs> We're going for a walk. Yeah, the dog. Come here. Come on, Bella. I know she was. She goes right there. The dog got out. Bella. The dog got out. Come on, you little rat. <laughs> I got my pumpkins. So. Oh, you got pumpkins? Let me see them. Bella. Okay, hold up. I got a little mini one. My pumpkins are, are deflating now. We carved them too early and they're like... Oh, I don't do that. <laughs> faces are and then we got some nice... <laughs> we got some big ones, too. Do you see them? I don't even yeah, know. I had, I had my two old... Uh... I had my two old... Uh... Love it. I know. I love fall. So, Come so on, Bella. Next week, next week, we're talking about... It's another serious topic that we're yeah. talking about. <laughs> Uh, we're going to be talking about um, um, is it do you remember the topic? I don't remember the topic. <laughs> it was um, signs of it was an article that somebody wrote about uh, uh, signs that we should watch out for um, for child for, abuse. For child abuse, yes. Yeah. And yeah, in the article uh -huh. they recommended a book. Oh, yeah. Tell me about that. Okay, I totally forgot. I totally forgot the title, but she recommended it. So I actually ordered it on Amazon. So I should, you know, because I'm a Prime member, I should get it in two days. Yay. Yeah. So I'm hopefully going to be done reading it. So next week, you know, I can say something about it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Let's talk about it next week in the book. And yeah. uh, maybe, maybe we could write a blog about it too. Yeah. What do you think? I think so. Okay, great. So uh, next week. To our moms, thank you for listening. Um, this video will be reposted for YouTube 
this weekend. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's user slash moms pump here. And, um, you know, tell us what you think about our topics. We're going to be doing this. We're, we're changing it up this season for season three for hashtag the pink life. Super Sue and I are going to be do li doing live Facebooks every single Wednesday, unless something happens. Yeah. <laughs> Let's have a doctor's appointment or something. Yeah. Um, and we're going to be talking about really important topics, trying to like push the envelope a little bit um, and take it one step further, you know, for our moms and all these, you know, topics, things that are happening in our world that we really need to discuss. Yeah. Um, next week, we'll be talking about looking out for signs for child abuse. And make sure you tune in between 11 and 1. Hopefully yeah. We'll be ready. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, try to do, we'll try to do like a countdown or something. Yeah. Yeah. We'll try. Yeah, maybe. maybe. <laughs> All right, babe, I'll talk to you later. Oh, well, don't forget to follow us on Twitter, uh, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. And, and download the Mom's Pump here, Nurse Room Locator app, and submit locations. Yes. We're over 1,000, but we can use more. Yes. All right, All right bye, bye, guys. Bye. Love you. bye.